when couples are being all lovey-dovey, I'm like, don't want it. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a Valentine's Day-ish video. Valentine's Day was a couple of days ago. I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see either my favorite haters to lovers trope couples or if you wanted to see my favorite couples in general. Y'all voted for haters to lovers. Thank you because that's what I want to talk about anyways because I love this trope so much. I'm a total haters to lovers stan. I would rather read all of the haters to lovers than all the romance books in the world. Personally, I'm not a huge romance person. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know I like stabby stabby murder murder books and there's not a lot of romance in stabby stabby murder books because there's too many people getting stabbed and murdered. So, <laughs> so my like little compromise for that, if I'm going to read a book with romance in it, I like when it has haters to lovers because there's usually a lot of angst. A lot of sarcasm, a lot of sass, which is like me in a relationship. Ask my boyfriend, like it's just me being sassy the entire time. If you check out my Twitter and you see like the thread of me and my boyfriend's conversations, it's just me being a little asshole to him. Sorry, I love you though. So personally, my favorite trope, okay? Sorry, not sorry. But I picked out six of my favorite that I've read pretty recently or within the last year. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first haters to lovers couple that I chose is Aaron and Kestrel from The Winner's Curse by Mary Rutowski. I just love them so much. There's so much angst and like hatred between the two of them at the very beginning. Like Kestrel tries to rescue him from the slaves and he's just like, yo bitch, like <laughs> you like a little princess, back the fuck up. I ain't into that shit. And then as the story progresses and the trilogy continues, you can just see them falling for each other, but like trying not to fall for each other because like their social statuses don't line up, but it's just so cute and I love it. And they're just so dumb because it's so obvious that they like each other, but they keep telling each other, I don't like you, you're annoying, back up. But it's just like, oh, I know that you love each other. Just accept it and be in a loving relationship. The next book that I have is quite the controversial book, but honestly, I really liked it when I read it, so I'm really sorry, but it was really good, but it's The Black Witch by Lori Forrest, and the couple that I'm talking about is Ellerin and Yvonne. They're like the epitome of star-crossed lovers. There's no way that they should be together, but they're just drawn to each other no matter what they try to do. They try to stay away from each other, and they always end up back together, and I just love it so much. Honestly, Yvonne is a total asshole to Ellerin, and Ellerin hates him because of this, but they can't help being drawn to each other because of the magic in this world. You'll understand if you read the book. Highly recommend you read the book because it's really, really good. It definitely did not deserve all of the anger towards it when it first got published. The people's opinions are valid, but this is my own opinion. Definitely think you guys should check it out because the relationship in this is just... So dang cute. The next couple that I have is not relationship goals. Like this is not a good situation for them, but I love them together just because they're so sarcastic and they're trying so hard not to like each other. But it is Jude and Cardin from The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Yes, Cardin is an asshole. We all know this. There's no redeeming quality to Cardin, but just the way that Jude and Cardin like interact with each other. I don't know, it works and I'm into it and I'm here for it and I just like them, not their relationship, just like their banter back and forth, if that makes sense. The next book that I have is Keep Her Safe by K.A. Tucker and the couple that I'm talking about in this book is Noah and Gracie. This book follows Noah whose mother is the police chief of the Texan police force and she ends up committing suicide and leaves him a note explaining that he needs to bring a bag of cash to Gracie. Gracie is the daughter of her former partner on the police force. He actually was shot and labeled a corrupt cop in an investigation. It's basically the story of Noah and Gracie trying to discover what the Texas police force are hiding and like trying to clear Gracie's father's name. But they start off hating each other like Gracie literally pulls a gun on him the first time that they meet because he's like on her property and she doesn't trust him. So she's like, yo, get out. 
but then they slowly fall for each other and it's just such a cute love story because they learn to like care for each other. Noah is just so protective of not only Gracie but Gracie's mother and it's just so sweet. And I just love them together. They're just so adorable. I just highly recommend you guys check out this love story. It's like a romance suspense, so it's more up my alley when we're talking about romance books because, like, you know, I like the murder, murder, stabby, stabby books. And this one has some murder, murder, stabby, stabby, so I was here for it. And the final couple that I have is, like, one of the ultimate haters to lovers that I've ever read but it is Nova and Adrian from Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Okay one is a superhero and one is a super villain like can you get any more haters to lovers? No probably not. It's so cute to watch Nova like struggle with wanting to like Adrian but being like no we must be at a distance because I have loyalties to the anarchists. But then she's like, but Adrian's so cute and I just want to squish his face. And then Adrian's just like this sweet little cinnamon roll who's like, Nova's so pretty and I like her and she's such a good person, me. And it's just so cute to watch them like go into this relationship so hesitant, but then it's like, oh. The relationship definitely develops more in Arch Enemies, which I read this month and like loved so much. But I just think they're like super cute and I love that they learn to trust each other like I've said a thousand times in this video. Alright guys, so that was my very poorly explained haters to lovers couples that I love. I know I pretty much love the same thing for every single couple, but honestly that's what I like. Let me know down below a couple of haters to lovers couples that you guys like or any like haters to lovers books that I need to read because I just need them all in my life. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!